see you, baby. Yes, I got it this morning. Uh, we're about to review it. I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. I found this on my desk. What's up? I have another meeting soon, so let's jump right into it. What we're looking at here is the indexing valve, aka hydro indexing valve, aka sequencing valve, aka valvula de indicción, aka valve indexing. It goes by many names, but the reason we're talking about it today can be summarized in two words, inefficient and obsolete. Approximately 60% of the homes in Miami-Dade County have existing indexing valves. We're not going to get into why today, but we're going to get into why we're working to fix it. Efficiency is something I want in my irrigation system, but it's something I cannot do with an indexing valve. Let's take a look at why. One, it moves sequentially, so you could only irrigate in that order. Two, even though it moves in sequence, we can't program the timer to water some zones different than others because we can't rely on the valve to always begin at the same spot in the sequence. Three, these indexing valves, especially over time and especially on well water systems, tend to get corroded and get stuck. So if you're not out there at four o'clock in the morning watching out, you could be irrigating the same zone over and over again. We can't leave it like this. Retrofitting a mechanical system with a digital timer and electric valves allows you to program your zones independently. Do you know the one good thing about indexing valves? More and more are installed on new properties every day. Excuse me. Anyone in Miami-Dade County that still has one and wants to upgrade to a digital system or electrical valves can get a rebate for up to $400. What's this? All outlaws have accomplices. Funding for the Urban Conservation is provided by Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department.